morning guys welcome to saturday morning another week done we've got an awesome saturday class planned for you a team workout good way to end off the week just before we have performance care sundays with coach jb tomorrow and um, yeah very cool partner workout so if you haven't found your partner yet um, give them a call quick do it at home do it on zoom very cool workout to do today um, let's start with a warm-up we have three minutes of boxer sizing with a special guest today. Coach Lars is going to show us how the boxer sizing works. Um, Chris will take you through this through the workout, but basically we have a bunch of punches, uppercuts, a couple jabs in there, and maybe even a few kicks. Let's see how it goes. Well done, Lars. It's nice that the gloves are on for a change in this household. <laughs> Um, you're going to do that for three minutes guys and then after that we have two rounds of just a, a little bit more of a standard warm-up 10 good quality air squats as you get warmer get deeper chest up weight on your heels 10 good quality air squats from there 10 push-ups to down the dog remember just a reminder hands nice and narrow triceps doing the work here with your chest into that downward dog position Chest through, driving your heels down into the ground. Chest down, chest through, and heels down into the ground. From there, we've got 10 Romanian single leg deadlifts per side. So grab a kettlebell, you can do this with a dumbbell or whatever weight you have for today. 10 single leg Romanian deadlifts, keeping a nice straight tight back, touch the ground, back up. As you get warmer and warmer, try to get that back leg higher and higher, I'll show you again. Just make sure you don't round that back on the remaining deadlift. And after that, we have 10 single leg pelvic raises per side. 10 per leg. Keep one leg as close to your bum as possible. Knees in line. And raise your pelvis for, well, raise it as high as you can. Try pause maybe for two to three seconds at the top. Back down, don't rush through this. Cool, so we're gonna do that 10 per side, we can do that twice. And then after that, we have a little bit of mobility, general frog sit, just hanging out there for as long as Chris would like you to, he'll let you know tomorrow. And then some ankle stretches, which Chris will also take you through. And that is the warm up in Moby. From there is partner what time? So, workout, we have a 20 minute, um, sorry, 20 rounds of the following workout. You're gonna do seven front squats, seven hang clean and jerks, seven reverse burpees. The format of this guy, so it's 20 rounds, it's 10 rounds each, basically, between you and your partner. But the format is partner A will do the full seven reps and then swap every single exercise. So every seven reps you're swapping between your partner and just tag on Zoom or however we do it. Seven, 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 alternating each exercise and I'll take you through each one now. The front squats. If you've got equipment, if you've got a barbell at home, the weight is 50 for guys, 30 for ladies. Um, obviously, scale is needed. If you do not have a, a barbell, we can use dumbbells for today. So you can have one or two dumbbells. Okay, nice front rack position. Even though you're using that dumbbell, you can rest one head of the dumbbell on your shoulder, making sure your elbow is as high as possible, okay? When you do this, guys, make sure your back isn't halfway extending. You still want to squeeze your core and hips back. Front squat, okay? Seven front squats. You can have two dumbbells or one dumbbell. Dumbbell, whatever you've got, that's up to you. If you don't have a dumbbell, you can use a kettlebell for goblet squats. If you don't have either, guys, you're gonna do 10 front squat, 10 air squats. If you don't have any equipment, just 10 air squats. From there, we have hang clean and jerks. Clean and jerk. A few things here. Again, that head of the dumbbell has to touch your shoulder each time. Okay, so just to prevent it being more of like a snatch kind of movement. We want to hang shrug, catch it with the dumbbell, touching that shoulder. And then from there, you use your legs to explode up. That's the kind of push press finish. If you want to do a jerk, you can do that too. Just make sure you lock out after that. Same thing here, you can use one dumbbell, two dumbbells. If you don't have either guys, you're just going to do um, 10 odd objects, hand clean and jerks. 
So you can find a backpack, fill it up with something, water bottles, whatever you got. You're gonna do 10 of those if you don't have any equipment at all. After that, you've got seven reverse burpees. I'm gonna reverse burpee, guys. Try and get your heels as close to your bum on the way up as possible. So from here, the closer your heels are to your bum, the easier this will be. If you struggle with that, you can cross your legs on the way up. It might be a little bit easier. And that's the workout, and you alternate every single exercise. Just a reminder, I know I maybe confuse everyone a little bit there. So it's seven front squats, seven hand clean and jerks, seven reverse burpees if you've got some form of equipment. If you don't have any equipment at all, you're gonna do 10 air squats, 10 odd object hand clean and jerks, and then still seven reverse burpees. Those don't go up to 10. And that's it, guys. Have fun, enjoy it with your partners, and have a great Saturday.